Congratulations, Nancy, on completing your first speech with this group. We communicated yesterday, and you'd indicated you were a little bit nervous and, and shy. And, and I think you did an excellent job. I did detect that from you being in front of the room, and I think that's uh, a very important skill to achieve, even if you have what may be considered weakness, shyness. Uh, in front of a group, if you can overcome that and the audience does not detect that, that's a major success. And I did detect that from you today. So well done there. The main goal of the icebreaker is to be, you know, get up in front of the group, tell us a little bit about yourself, and, and start to get comfortable being in front of this audience. And, and as I just alluded to a second ago, you did, you did a nice job there this morning. <clears throat> Let's go through some of the things I thought were really good. Articulation and word use. You spoke clearly. I was able to understand you. I didn't hear any quiver in your voice. I didn't detect shyness from you. I think that was very good. You've even used the word of the day for a icebreaker. That is, that is very commendable. You had good eye contact the whole time. Being able to look at the audience and, and feel as though you're, you're with them and you're not buried in your notes is very important. You had notes, it didn't detect that you used them significantly, and I think you just had them there in case you lost your place, you could refer to them. Excellent way to have notes if you're going to have notes. You had good humor. You asked a question at the very beginning, you engaged the audience, that's good. Pulling the audience in from the beginning, getting them on your side. Not that this audience is against you, but uh, pulling them in right away and getting them with you. Uh, and your big bang, scientist, nerd joke was, was really good. <laughs> that, that engaged the audience and I can really relate with that group of people. You use your hands, uh, you know, you're behind the podium, and this is a very large podium. Some people are going to be holding on to this podium like it's going to protect them from the audience. You didn't do that. Uh, that, that is good. And as I mentioned, uh, your, your notes being on the podium, not looking down at them, and, and burying yourself in the podium was, was a positive. So let's work on a few, talk about a few things you can work on. The one part of the evaluation in this was that the speech needed to have an open body and conclusion. The icebreaker we know is for you to tell us about yourself, but you just kind of plowed right in with the farm and the family and did kind of give us a, a segue into, into your speech. The way to do that is to use Greg, use the Toastmaster, use that introduction to pull the audience in immediately, then you can, then you can keep going from there. Get that opportunity to use it. <clears throat> the other piece is more just the logistics of the room. I know there was some, some people that were, were having trouble getting in here, but try to get the room prepared for yourself from the very beginning so you're not feeling uh, rushed or, or, or nervous about the room not being the way you want to make the room the way you want it at the beginning that you don't have to worry about. But overall, I think that for an icebreaker speech, I think you did a wonderful job. You got up here in front of us, you didn't look shy, I want to hear more of it, and I look forward to, to many more speeches from you and our group. Thank you. Thank you.